Hi everyone, Demi here. Um, I have a video for you guys today and this one is going to be a haul video. Uh, the haul kind of spans over the past couple of weeks because I've been doing a little shopping. Um, so I have some drugstore stuff and then um, I was at the mall recently so I have some Sephora stuff and I have some um, stuff from the Clinique counter. Uh, so I guess I'll start there. So the first things that I got were from Clinique and they actually came in this little baggie here because they were having a promotion and I don't know if this is everywhere but they were having it at uh, the store near me and basically you spend $27 or $37 something like that um, on whatever you wanted and then you got a bag this little zippy bag with a bunch of goodies in it so I'm gonna show you guys what I got um, so the first thing I got was the thing that I actually purchased in order to get the free stuff and uh, I got this uh, moisturizer by Clinique and it's the Clinique moisture surge and it says extended thirst relief um, so this is what it looks like it is a gel consistency and let me tell you a little goes a long 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 way um, so you know I just dab it all over and rub it in and it's weird because it dries um, with this kind of satiny texture on my hand but on my face when it first dries it feels like I'm not moisturized like it feels like there isn't enough on there but if you wait and let it kind of like absorb into your skin your skin feels so soft afterwards and so um, and you don't like I don't get dry patches or anything like that so this is actually really awesome and, and the other thing about Clinique is that all of their products are hypo hypoallergenic and they don't have scents which is awesome because I have pretty sensitive skin so that's what I bought and so then I got this little baggie and a bunch of stuff so the first thing I got is this Clinique repair wear laser focus wrinkle correcting eye cream okay that's a long title um, but this is what it looks like. You get 0.17 ounces. A little goes a long way. It has kind of a strong chemical smell, but I guess it's not like flowery or really fragranced. Um, I've never really used an eye cream before, and I'm only like 20, but I guess why not start now, right? So um, that's really nice. I got, you get this high impact mascara and um, it's actually double sided so you get a lash building primer and then the mascara and this is what the wand looks like on the primer side it actually looks the exact same on the mascara side and this is a uh, really nice mascara I thought it was gonna be like the fibery type of stuff because it's white and it makes your eyelashes longer but that's not the case and when you put the white kind on um, it doesn't really like it doesn't make your eyelashes white it doesn't really coat them too much um, but then you put the black side on and this actually for me at least does a really good job of separating and kind of lengthening my lashes which is what I prefer in a mascara so I'm actually really happy that I got this um, you also get an eyeliner and the one I got is number 15 intense aubergine and it's their quick liner for eyes intense and it's one of the scrolly ones but I think mine is broken because it doesn't scroll up but it's this purpley kind of mauve like brown like I, it's hard to describe but on my hand it's probably just gonna look black but it actually is kind of purpley um, and it's nice another thing that you got that I don't know what I did with it was you got an eyeshadow duo and the packaging had this kind of silvery like mirror looking thing on it which is really cool because you can just use that to apply your eyeshadow and there was a light pink shade and then a purpley kind of smoky shade um, and I actually just use that for my entire eye look most days I just swipe on the pink and then put the um, purpley color in the outer corners and it's gorgeous and I love it so that's nice and then the other thing you get is a lipstick um, and this is called 
their different lipstick that's just the title and I have the color a different grape and it looks really pretty in the tube um, kind of purpley type of fall color um, and it has a bit of gloss to it but it doesn't have any shimmer which is nice because I don't like shimmer and lip products but the color just doesn't really go with my skin tone and my complexion so um, I probably won't end up using that one either um, the next place I went was Sephora and I really didn't get much from Sephora but I did get two of their little eyeliner pencils um, and I got silver and this purpley shade it kind of looks blue on my camera but that's because the lighting is kind of weird but it's uh, a bright kind of indigo-y purple-ish color and I haven't opened those yet but I'm sure they'll be fine. The last thing I got was this Sephora nail polish and it's just in the color silver and I love it. The reflex, the flexes in the glitter are really pretty so you see like pink and blue and green and I just love it and so this was definitely a good purchase on my part. So last but not least, I went to Walgreens and bought a bunch of stuff because I guess they're like clearing out and putting in new products so a bunch of stuff was on sale. So first I got um, these Maybelline Expert Wear Eyebrow Pencils. So there's one that's still in the package and here's one out of the package and I got the color medium brown but I'm just like I'm really learning about eyebrows right now and I'm I've yet to find my perfect shade like my eyebrows are really thin and barely visible um, and I'm having a hard time like finding the right product to fill them in without them looking like super dramatic and like I don't want them to stand out um, and so I tried this color but as you can see on my hand it is much too light and they actually make my eyebrows look kind of reddish which is not what I was going for. Um, so luckily these were only like $4, so I didn't waste too much money on them. Um, I might go back and try like another color, because I like the way that the pencil goes on. Um, it just was the wrong color. Um, another thing that I got was this Wet n Wild Mega Blast lip color, and I got Cherry on top. I've really been getting into red lips lately and so I've been trying out a bunch of different products and a bunch of different colors to try and uh, figure out which one works for me. So this is what the wand looks like. It's kind of uh, bent um, and the product looks really, really glossy. Um, but when you put it on, I'll swatch it for you. When you put it on, it looks really, really glossy and everything and it's kind of slippery but when it dries, it's really dry. And it's also really sticky. Um, and it's just not comfortable. At least for me, it's not comfortable on my lips. So I really do like the color and I like the way the color looks on me, but I don't like the formula of the product, so I won't be using that anymore. Um, I also decided to get one of the Another one of the Wet n Wild lipsticks, this one is in Cherry Frost and this is their like the dollar line that they have and I have some really good like experience with some of their um, dollar lipsticks and so I thought maybe I would try a red um, and the formula is really great as I mean as far as my standards go I really like it. This is it. But it's a lot pinker than I thought like it's not as red as I originally thought it was going to be and it has a weird kind of sheen to it that I don't really like so I probably won't end up using that one much either but it was only a dollar so that was nice. I got another red lipstick. This one is from Rimmel. I, I almost said Revlon. Um, and it is in the color... Zero one. I don't know if it has an actual name, but it says Kate on it because I guess with a heart, so I guess she had like a collection. 
someone named Kate, um, but I really like the packaging. I don't know why, I just, I think it's really like sleek and cool looking and I love this lipstick. This is what it looks like. I love the color, I love the finish, I love the way it looks on me and I think this one was like six dollars but it was definitely um the best out of the three that I picked up that's what it looks like and I love pretty much everything about it I don't I don't have any real issues with that one um I also picked up a foundation because I was watching um some of Emily Noel 08's like old videos and she had like a drugstore startup kit kind of video and she talked about a bunch of foundations and I have a really hard time with foundations because my skin is so dumb um, so a lot of times the foundation is too dry uh, and so I get it like flakes off and it's patchy and it's just like okay this is not working for me um, but she recommended this one and this is the Revlon color stay uh, and I have the color Toast, 370 Toast, and this has actually been really, really, really nice. Um, it has really great coverage, and it's not super, super drying, and for my skin, I can wear it without putting a powder over my entire face, just like uh, my nose and kind of like forehead area right here. Um, and it looks really, really good. So I'm actually really happy with that recommendation and I can't wait to start using that like more often. Now the last things I got were a couple of nail polishes. I really like the Wet n Wild Wild and Shine uh, nail polish and nail polishes. So I got three of those. Oh wait. There we go. I got the color the Eggplant, which is this one. It's this gorgeous iridescent kind of purple color. And then I got Blazed, which is this one. And the, none of the colors are showing up quite right, but this is kind of a peachy kind of pink. It reminds me of a blush color. Um, so that's really pretty. And then I got Red Red, uh, which is this one because I'm kind of super obsessed with red lately. And these are 99 cents. Um, just regularly, but they were on sale at Walgreens for 69 cents with your Walgreens card. So I picked up three. And then I got uh, one more nail polish by Maybelline, their Color Show collection of nail polishes. And this one is in the color Red Relic. And here it is. I like red. I like red on my lips. I like red on my hands. Okay, so that's all that I have in my makeup haul. Yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned uh, for my next video. Okay, bye!